to Sapienza 47. We have two targets for you. Congressman Anthony L. Trout, a veteran of the invasion of Grenada, and Richard J. McGee. Though at first glance these two might not seem connected, they have a long-standing collaboration manipulating Trout's political opposition. Trout sends McGee after his weak but potentially dangerous adversaries and lets McGee manipulate and ultimately break them. Trout and McGee are in Sapienza on an arcane meet-and-greet with European moneymen and power brokers ahead of a possible presidential bid in 2024. We know that Trout is staying at the Via Caruso in the town square, but McGee's business is much more clandestine and we don't have a location for where he will be. All we know is that he is to meet a Keith Keeble, a rich young man and possibly their next victim. Time to show them the consequences of political manipulation. Good luck, 47. Good afternoon, 47. Trout and McGee have arrived in Sapienza. We know Trout is at the Via Caruso, but you'll have to find out where McGee will be making contact with Mr. Keeble. Security is unusually high, especially with Caruso in residence. Do be careful, 47. Take point. Reading you five by five. office here. I know him well. He'll make sure your daddy's dragon lady lawyer doesn't overstep. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. So... Mr. Caruso has an extensive collection of vintage wines. I, I believe you are a connoisseur. The family estate in Maine has been making wines for a hundred years, so... All right there? This is nothing like last time. Hey, other man, night, don't push me. I was me. out walking for dinner, and I see this con. Coming up the coastal road towards the Hey. to you. Right, so, um, I want to cancel my subscription and now I'm calling this number in Uruguay. Oh, okay. yeah. So, you know where it is. Big mansion up in Sapienza, richest family on the coast. Come on, Dante, just do this for me. Those flowers have to be delivered today, and Mr. Russo is a loyal customer. If we lose his business, the boss will fire me for sure. Come on. You shouldn't be waving your gun around like that. It's uh, very fine, unprofessional. Fine, forget it. I'll manage somehow. Wouldn't want to be a bomb. Mm. Yeah, I know I gotta tell her about the accident. I'm just working on my story. Oh. Yeah. Later. Target down. One more to go.
think you will find. Not very good balance. Long and woody. My compliments to Mr. Caruso. Thank you for your input, Congressman. I am sure Mr. Caruso will appreciate it. Uh, shall we proceed? Time to find an exit. 